Good morning, Axel. How are you? <laughs> you want a bar? Got to put your shoes on. No. Hey. Eggsy wants a bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have strawberry or blueberry. Which one? Blueberry, say thank you. Last shoot. Thank you. Okay, there we go. Good job, buddy. There you go. <laughs> Is he making faces? <laughs> Can you show him Owlette? Hi. Oh, the PJ masks. Show him Owlette? They were all under the bed this morning. I had to grab them. Thank you. I'll take your dragon. Come on, buddy. We're going to school. Okay, let's go. Yep. We're getting in, bud. Bye. Axel gave me a gift before he left. All right, now I've got to pack my bag before we take off. Food for later. Water. Electrolytes. Snacks for later. <laughs> Gonna be honest with you guys, I am dragging a little bit right now. I'm getting over just a little bit of a sore throat. I've just, quite honestly, I've just been staying up late. I need to do a better job of taking care of myself. I've just been playing the new Hogwarts video game. It's just so, so good. I'm not kidding. This is one of the greatest games that I have ever played. It is truly amazing. This is how I wind down my nights. Axel is in bed. I just fed baby Kato his last bottle. He's snoozling. And I am in the wizarding world of Harry Potter. That's my character right there. Being able to explore Hogwarts and this open world game is, it's, it's on another level. I mean, look at how gorgeous these graphics are. You can just fly all over the castle, travel around the world. I mean, it's, it's guys, it's amazing. It's, it's amazing. Now I have got a ton of stuff to do today. Number one was get the kids up, get them ready, get them sent off with Allie. Number two is swim, head down and train, so. Let's head to the pool, yo. Coach Corey and I are gonna rock a quick 2K, then I'm gonna go fast. 10 seconds, here we go. This, this is, this has gotta get fixed. We need. Dude, you were swimming in like a two foot lane. <laughs> That's right. Everybody, I clipped my chest. It was getting just too ferocious, it's too long. Oh, saw a seven on that one. There we go. Oh, we did it. Dude, I might even have been at 55. Oh. Thank you, it was fun. Thanks for warming me up. That was a nice, pleasant surprise. I was planning on swimming completely by myself because first of all, Yusuf, my training partner Yusuf, has COVID right now. He's okay, but so he's out and the coaches leave with this team to go to their championship meet this morning so i thought i was gonna be alone but corey swam half of my practice so now now i do have to do the main set alone and i gotta say the water water temp's a little cold today not quite as cold as my lake at home which we've been doing some fun stuff in. oh god blake I'm it's so thick. Yeah, it's Here, can you hold like, this? That's like probably two inches. You think more? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Oh! I don't know if I can get out. Ah, my foot's stuck. Ah! I don't know how it started, but someone dared us to get in the lake. And so we, we did. We didn't last very long. The water was like below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. But uh, I do love ice baths. One of my absolute favorite things for recovery. There's great benefit, tremendous benefit to hot and cold exposure. A lot of benefits to ice baths. So polar plunges does a lot for your brain, does a lot for your body. So I actually really like them, but I was not prepared for how cold the lake water is going to be. Anyways, now we are going to throw a racing suit on and do the second half of this workout. <laughs> Now here's the secret to swimming by yourself, at least my recipe for how to make sure you get all the work in when you're forced to train and swim by yourself, because it's hard. Write the set down and print it out beforehand. 
like this. I even put Batman on my paper to hold me accountable to make sure I do all of this pace stuff, to make sure I do all the fast stuff, because guys, training by yourself is really hard, and I fortunately don't have to do it too often, but when you do, if I don't have a plan when I show up on deck, things just go, it doesn't go the way that it should. I don't get everything in that I need to do. I need to have a set schedule of what to do beforehand, and then I show up and then just follow orders. Boom, boom, boom. Like I wrote that set last night for myself, and now I'm set to go. Like I gotta, and I put, you know, Batman's there to hold me accountable. I mean, that may not work for everyone, but like when I don't plan ahead, I don't, I don't get things done. I need to have schedules, I need to be prepared. One down. There's the main set right there. Something that I was thinking about during that set when I was resting is something my coach Ron used to tell me a long time ago when I swam for the Sandpipers. When we did really hard sets, he used to say, who you are when no one's watching is the most important thing. And I was thinking about that. You know, it's easy to go fast and to push yourself when there's people by you. It's easy when there's a coach standing over you. It's hard when there's no one there to hold you accountable, except yourself. Kind of like this morning. Not that I'm like training super seriously for anything, but you know, I had something that I wanted to do. I've been really run down, really tired. I didn't necessarily want to do it. Didn't really feel the best. But that set actually went really well. Actually went pretty fast. I feel feel good about that set. And part of that is because some of those things my coaches told me when I was younger when the pressure starts to sink in, those things creep back from the back of my brain into the forefront of my brain of, hey, you gotta keep going. Like you can't, you can't just take it easy because Ray's not standing here yelling at me or, or Ron's not there telling me to hold my stroke count or those little things matter, you know? I saw this photo, I think, I think it was at Alley's school or it was somewhere, but it's, it's a poster and there's an iceberg and you only see the tip of the iceberg out of the water and then underneath it is this massive, massive hunk of ice. And the top is, says what you see, what everyone sees, which is just the pinnacle above the water. And then at the bottom is what you don't see, which is just this big base of hard work. And I think that's probably the most accurate representation of swimming and of sports. It's all that work that the best athletes and the most successful people do when no one's watching. Yeah, anyway, if I had any, you know, my little takeaway for if you're training by yourself, it's hard to hold yourself accountable, but it is so rewarding when you do. Like doing something that is challenging and then overcoming that challenge, especially when there's no one else there to help you, is like the most rewarding. And you get that a lot in swimming. And, uh, and I, I really love that, especially as I'm getting older, as I have all these other things that I'm doing, still pushing myself and challenging myself in the water is uh, it's a new kind of challenge and it's really fun and um, anyway i just wanted to share that with you all so looking forward to playing more harry potter later and watching more of, i've been watching that new hbo series the last of us holy oh my i mean that's a rough show hard hard show to watch but i love post-apocalyptic zombie stuff it's just that's just my thing man and man that show it's good so highly recommend for the adult for the adults, not for the, not for the youngsters. <laughs> All right, I have a few announcements that I will get into after we take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video. Just know that when you support my sponsors through the links in the description below and my promo codes, you are supporting me and this YouTube channel, which I really, really appreciate, guys. It means a lot. No matter what your lifestyle or meal preferences are, HelloFresh has recipes that are sure to please everyone at your table. HelloFresh now has 40 weekly recipes to choose from so you never get stuck in a rut. It's really, really easy, even for a mediocre chef like myself. Their pre-portioned ingredients and easy to follow recipe cards make making meals 
quite honestly, kind of fun and really simple. The best part is the quality of the food and the recipes. In fact, ingredients travel from farm to your home in less than seven days, so you know they're always fresh. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code CODYM65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Click that link below and use my promo code CODYM65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Now, on another note, my office has turned into a giant playroom and I now have a dragon. One second. <laughs> ah, oh yeah. I'm gonna pick up Axel from school and we're uh, bouncing around on this little bounce house thing. <laughs> Axel, you got the camera. Okay. The GoPro. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I, a couple announcements, I am booking swim clinics for the year. So if your swim team, your club, whatever, wants to bring me out for a clinic, please head to ultimateswimmer.com, put in a little info, request a clinic for me, and that will get that ball rolling. For private one-on-one -on -one lessons with me, underwater review technical work, that's like my favorite kind of stuff, here in my endless pool, send me an email to codymillershow at gmail.com, and we might be able to set up a session with you and me, make you faster, love doing these things. If you haven't done so already, please smash that subscribe button, become a member of our swim family, share my videos, thank you so much for doing so. And uh, if you'd like a personalized video from me to you or someone you know, for whatever reason, I am available on Cameo. We also have merch on the merch store and whew, I think, I think, I think that wraps up. I think that's it. Until my next video, I will see you all later. Ooh.